It's going to be on Polaris Rhapsody. Now let's see if Trudach kind of gets back in on his feet because I really, I mean, I don't know what it was, but I didn't like it. <laughs> okay, so let's see. We have Remag as the red Protoss at the bottom right location. His opponent minus Trudach as the white Zerg at the top left. And... Okay, so yeah, they're talking a little bit about something. I guess that Trudet just started right away when when they joined. Okay, so... Okay, it kind of makes sense. So, uh, let's see... <laughs> okay, so that's kind, of, that's kind of interesting. Now let's see if Trudet kind of changes a little bit that, because... Uh, I don't understand. Alright, so... We do see Remake is going for a pylon at the natural. And again, guys, remember that the beginning? Remake actually made Forge Cannon. He cancels the cannon. He rebuilds the cannon. Then he puts the Nexus. Like, Remake actually was not in a good position from the beginning of the game. And he still actually takes it down relatively easy. Although, to be fair, to that, the kind of tried to do something really tr tricky like with this drop so it, it kind of backfired really fast it, like Trudet's build went from oh this is a great idea to what the hell are you thinking man for in like two seconds flat when the Corsairs went to the right location and just killed it seconds before you could unload the first lurker okay so forge since there is a pool makes sense uh, no block. No block? No. The probe? So, Remake doesn't really give a f flying sorcerer about this going down. Okay. I guess that's one way to do it. And again, cannon first. No Nexus? Nexus? -u? Nope, no Nexus yet. Okay, so cannon first, then probably a Nexus. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming that the probe is just staying to see if he needs another cannon or is okay with one. Now, oh, well, that's actually quite funny. So, Trudach makes the seconds, but he kind of times it a little bit differently. He was probably expecting the Nexus to come down and maybe forget about the cannon or just make one of them. And so far, there's only one. There's only one cannon. So, you could actually run through, even if you put a gateway down he like here, right? I would assume it's gonna come down here, or here? Oh, maybe here, maybe like, like this. Yeah, okay, so this I assume blocks this part, and with one cannon, maybe some probes, although they have to be positioned a little bit better because... No, okay, so I was thinking for a second that maybe you could try to snipe this cannon, but Remag quite smartly blocks it off. And at the same time, we do have a hatch coming up down here at the double gas expansion. And the nice obvious target is the probe. Now, is it going to be lair? I assume it is going to be lair. And we do see gas by Remag. So, so far, so good. Both players playing really standard. Nothing crazy. Now, gas is still being mined, which kind of makes sense with this build, and so far not too many drones being built. A zealot, and that's it so far. So, where's the core, though? The core? Oh, second gas before the core? Well, that's interesting. That's, yeah, that's really interesting, in fact, because if you're getting double gas <coughs> before the core, I would assume that that's for double upgrades. Or perhaps even double upgrades and at the same time tech. I'll, I'm going to be really interested in seeing that because usually, as far as I know, you put your second guess slightly after the core, but... Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so once the lot does go out a little bit, but just goes back right after, so I'm assuming that this is kind of a scare tactic 
not really gonna do much. So we do see, actually we do see some more Zerglings being built, so maybe Tr uh, Trudach is, yeah, Trudach is making actually a lot of Zerglings, and is he getting speed? Speed is about to finish, and he did make a lot of Zerglings, so he could try to run by, but he really shouldn't show these Zerglings to the gateway. If he shows the Zerglings to the gateway, yeah, and he just did. I mean, it can still work because the probe can be sniped quite fastly and there's only one cannon, but he really didn't want to show that. Yeah, okay, he's gonna get in. Uh, yeah, you should just be attacking. Attack, 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 attack. Okay, so the cannon does fall, but yeah, the defenses are relatively solid. There's still three zealots, so... That was quite close. I mean, if Twitch didn't show the Zergling to the gateway and kept them all here, I don't think that probe would have come up to block. And then it would have actually been, maybe not GG, but it would have been really, really hard to recover from that. But with this, basically Twitch is, whoa, he's heavily committing into these Zerglings before the mutas come out. And to be fair, I don't know if that's a good idea, because if the Zerglings don't manage to break in, and right now with this amount of Zealots and the cannon here, they won't. What's the follow-up? I mean, I understand that this is actually slowing down the Corsair production, which so far is non-existent. Right? Nope. So that, that's actually been enough to make Remak forget to build Corsairs. Ah, shh, that's bad. Oh, okay. I was thinking that Trudach is gonna wait for these zealots to follow the zergling, then he's gonna run in with these and snipe the cannon. That would be kind of smart. More zerglings coming up and a few mutas. So are the mutas gonna kill the cannon? Oh my god, there's no coursers yet. Ooh, that's 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 kind of an eight-minute game, right? Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be it. Yeah. Oh god. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. Yeah. Well. Okay.